our friend uh, Steve Emerson, Executive Director of the Investigative Project on Terrorism. Steve, thank you very much. Uh, what do you what what do you see here when you when you see what we just saw and hear what you just heard from? I must tell you, it was the most. I saw some of the pictures. And I saw some of the, um, the video that was censored. I must tell you, I'm still in shock that this could occur um, any place, but in a, in a European country, in a Western country, where um, the Islam radical Islamists would dare do something like this, as horrific as this was. I've never seen anything like this. It reminds me of what they did to Teddy Van Gogh yes. in the Netherlands when they shot, when he was stabbed 21 times with notes pinned onto his chest after he was killed. But this was even more horrific. This was only 200 yards away from the Royal Military Barracks where the soldiers were stationed. It, it, and, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I mean, I'm still sort of in shock to, to, to hear about this, and I can imagine what's going to be the reaction of Islamic Islamist groups they're going to say he's not they're not muslims and you know they of course they'll condemn it but they're going to say they're not muslims this is not islamic this is not islam now it it's not islam per se but it's radical islam and it's part of the spectrum of islam there's no denying that and for anyone to say and i guarantee you they will say this as they've said in the United States that they said it about Nidal Hassan they said it about the other islamic terrorists they're not muslims of course they're Muslims, and of course they're jihadists. And it's not the jihad of the spiritual struggle that they claim that it means. It's the jihad of holy war, which is what Muhammad actually fought for the first part of his career. Well, so, of, of, cor of course, Steve, um, you know, the, what was uh, unique about this was not only the, uh, the gruesomeness, but also the fact that uh, they, they stuck around, they wanted to be filmed, they obviously wanted to get the message out. <clears throat> and fortunately or unfortunately, people like me uh, are, are playing that message. Um, what what did they? I mean, give me well, the frankly, mo. Give, give me mean, the I'm mo. What, yeah, go ahead. No, um, we should get the message because in most part, in most parts of the West, they downplay these attacks. I mean, you, you remember what the attack, the response was of the chief of staff of the U.S. Army yeah. after after the, the Dalai Hassan. We have to protect diversity. Yeah. Yep. And know what he was charged with? Workplace violence. Yeah, I know. We got we we have Congressman uh, Tim Rooney, uh, Tom Rooney, the former uh, prosecutor at Fort Hood, coming on right after you to talk about the injustice. Nadal Hassan is getting three hundred grand, while the victims uh, are, aren't getting Purple Hearts or anything for being wounded in in a case of uh, combat violence. They're getting nothing. They can't eat, and they're getting nothing. But that aside, for now, this is this is unique. Not only, like I said, in its gruesomeness. I mean, what 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 mo does this fit that they would stick? around make a video state their cause on the video you know what i'm saying it's it's you, it, we it haven't reminds seen me that. of what they did what they did to daniel pearl yeah it's exactly what they did to daniel yeah. pearl they filmed it they wanted everyone to see it look to a certain extent you're right that we play into their hands by 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 basically alarming everybody about their their uh, and, and instilling this fear about them but on the other hand people have to see what what animals they are and 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 the word savages comes to mind, because they they may not be uh, they're definitely Muslim. Now that doesn't mean all Muslims are are are, are like this. And let's be very clear about that. This, this is a minority, but a minority that is fed a narrative, a narrative that says that the West or Britain or Israel or the U.S. is waging a war against Islam. That narrative which they themselves repeated when they were justifying to passers-by why they did it, yelling Allahu Akbar, saying uh, this narrative is the exact narrative that is responsible for 99% of all Islamic terrorist attacks and echoed by the same Muslim Brotherhood group to get invited by the White House. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's a whole other story that you've documented so well. And for those who care to listen or educate themselves, uh, you should go to Steve's uh, website, uh, The Investigative Project on Terrorism, and, and learn about the infiltration of the Muslim Brotherhood into the FBI, into the State Department, into every branch of our government. But uh, that aside also for a second now, um, the, uh, the British uh, Parliament is meeting in emergency session. Uh, David Cameron called them into session. Um, do you believe that this is the opening salvo of something, or do you believe these were two so-called, and I don't mean to diminish it by calling them lone wolves, two lone wolves who decided to make this point uh, based on their religious beliefs, or what? 
Well, we don't know yet. I mean, look, obviously, uh, this was the most heinous, gruesome, uh, inhumane uh, attack I've witnessed, or not witnessed, but read about or even uh, you know heard about since the Teddy Van Gogh murder. This is, this is even more gruesome. Now, whether this is a, a prelude to more attacks or not, no one can say. Uh, it, it seems to me that the, 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 the gruesomeness of this attack and the fact that they stuck around makes it more, to me, seem like they, they were more of lone wolves than they were more of an orchestrated part of a conspiracy. But again, again, the lone wolf attacks are the ones that actually are the ones that are most horrific, like the ones in Boston. You can't stop them. Um, you can't stop them, and you can't um, precipitate any type of preemptive attack against them because to do so would mean you'd have to have a criminal predicate. Now, I don't know what MI5, you know, it'll, it remains to be seen what MI5 had or it did not have on these individuals. Right, yeah. I, I got to tell you, Steve, and we got to go, but the whole thing was just so, so surreal. And you saw more footage than I've seen and, and we've seen here on the show. But uh, just so surreal, a, a woman doing her shopping, walking by the guy while he's making a statement, uh, a woman actually going over to the body, uh, trying to help the, the man who's been beheaded. Just a crazy, crazy scene. Thank you for taking the time, Steve. We re always appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you. Stephen Emerson, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, executive director of the Investigative Project on Terrorism.